Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Aquarius from the 7th to the 13th of October 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I've put in links to Amazon and eBay, so please follow these links to view or to buy the deck. And don't forget to watch watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies, my deck walkthrough series, as well as my gemstones and crystal videos that I have been doing. You'll find those very, very interesting. And so like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. And I'm starting off with a general energy read, and I'm using the Oracle of the Radiant Sun for that. So the first card is authority, so you might be dealing with some kind of legal issues or even the law. Uh, there could be some kind of authority figure that you're dealing with. Now, it might be on the work front because you've got Mars here in Capricorn. So somebody, uh, you know, that you are... Um, having to answer to uh, somebody coming in, maybe passing some kind of judgment, because this man's got this uh, huge sword over here, so somebody may be giving you some kind of communication, but there might be some kind of legal issue or some kind of authority figure that you are dealing with on that work front. Um, you've got a new enterprise coming up for you there, and this is about starting something brand new and being very hands-on. You've got Jupiter here in Aries, so this is about expansion expansion with Jupiter and Aries is about doing projects uh, putting all your energy into a new project that you're doing so there's something brand new that you want to get started maybe you're even signing contracts or sorting through legal issues or official issues in order for you to make this brand new start of them you've been very restless in the past you've got Mercury there in Aries so you've been thinking of doing something brand new you've been thinking of starting something and a lot of energy uh, maybe starting a new business going um, going off by yourself or even going off and you know becoming a, uh, a consultant of some sort but there's a lot of thought and effort that's going on to it and you want to be your own boss it seems with this particular card now in the past you've got the defense card over there and so you've been going through a lot of issues sorting through a lot of issues the mars there in taurus uh there's you know it's been problems with finances and you're having to deal with a lot of people uh maybe people asking you to pay bills but it's been very disruptive over there there's a lot of swords on this card and with mars in taurus it's not really good because mars and venus don't really get along and so there's been a lot of fighting a lot of arguing a lot of problems going on you seem it seems like you've given up almost because you've got the submission card over here and you've got you've been feeling very caged very very uh um you know restricted uh whatever these uh, this issue is that you're having with finances it's got you caged up it's got you feeling very stuck in that particular situation over there it's about to come to an end because you've got venus sitting there in um pisces but it seems like uh, you know you're feeling very stuck within this uh, situation you've had to just give up give in it seems now going into the future you've got the inspiration card over here so this is about doing something different and thinking yourself out of the situation you've got to come up with a solution yourself possibly uh, with mercury sitting in pisces there so a lot of thinking needing to um you know you need to think clearly so you've got a big moon card over there um, a big moon on this card rather and this means that you know you need to uh, be a bit more grounded don't be so scared about doing things and really maybe take a little bit of a risk um and not um allow um you know emotions to get in the way there and you've got the manipulation card here. So you do need to manipulate the situation into whatever it is you want it to be. Uh, this is where your power comes in. So you're going to have to, um, you know, uh, change the way things are going. Um, rather than being manipulated by people, you are the one that's going to have to change things or, or um, you know, um, turn, turn the events in your favor yourself and this is going to take a lot of thinking so you're going to have to well manipulate the situation in order for it to serve you and uh, you know and the, if you want this um, enterprise to be successful uh, you're going to have to be very hands-on you're going to have to uh, be a, a smooth talker uh, so to speak um, in order for you to get uh, um, success in this particular project so that is very very important you'll have to put in some effort into that uh, don't let things just happen you're going to have to um, direct the way things go so those are the energies within that week so i'm going to be using the um, everyday enchantment tarot for the main read
I have shuffled this deck. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Blades. So it looks like you do need to take some time out and come up with a new strategy or a new plan. You might have had uh, a loss going on, uh, and there might have been people that were against you or people that caused this loss for you. Uh, you might have even lost your home as well, and you might be in temporary accommodation with this Four of Blades. But what this card is saying is that you do need to take a step back and think very clearly as to what you want and then put that plan into place. Uh, you've got the eight of blades over here. So you're feeling trapped again within the situation and not knowing how to get yourself out of it. So you are coming through a very, very difficult uh, period. You've got that two of coins over here. There might have been an offer that came in for you as well with this two of coins. Maybe you are considering two job options or maybe even considering an alternate career pathway you're feeling very very trapped within this situation maybe some people are just um you know having a go at you um maybe there's a lot of pressure as well from people around you there and you know you, you can see this child is crying so you it seems like you're very frustrated in this uh, situation you do need to take some time out uh, and uh, maybe de-stress a little bit take a little bit of a holiday uh, you could have you could even be trying to get over some uh, physical illness as well with that four of blades so it might be having some impact on your health as well all the stress but you do need to take some time out and come up with a new plan you've got the eight of coins over there and the queen of cups eight of coins is usually about learning uh, on the job so this is the apprentice card and maybe you do need to put in some extra effort or you might need to go and do some uh, a further course uh, of, of a bridging course uh, some kind of further study um, whatever this new job is or whatever job you're doing there's some learning that is attached to this job or you may need to go and undertake uh, uh, some kind of bridging course or some kind of uh, course that raises your improves your skill set really uh, in order for you to uh, move out of the situation so maybe maybe that is the, the thing that you will need to do in order for you to get um, a better stronghold a better foothold in, in a better job really you've got the queen of cups over here so this is about feeling very depressed feeling upset feeling very very unsupported there are people that are going to be giving you advice there might be somebody around you that's quite supportive of you but uh, you know for all intents and purposes it seems like almost everybody's ignoring you but somebody's going to bring you something some kind of message uh, that um you will be able to use very constructively um, in, in order for you to uh, move forward. Now, with that Queen of Cups, this is about maybe waiting for things to come to you. And maybe you do need to be a bit more proactive with that Eight of Coins next to this Queen of Cups. Instead of waiting for things to come to you, might be somebody who needs to go out there and uh, you know do it uh, for yourself. Um, so feeling very upset, feeling very alone, feeling very isolated, and very miserable over there. But things will improve if you um, start putting a little bit of effort into it in the sense that you may need to do some kind of course or improve your skill set in some sort of way. You've got the Six of Blades over here. So you're coming out of a very, very difficult situation with that Six of uh, Blades because this is the card that follows the Five of Blades or the Five of Swords. And so you have gone through a lot of problems. You may have had to deal with a lot of legal issues as well with that um, Five of Swords before this and there might have been a lot of conflict that you were trying to sort through so you have been uh, getting away from it you're still skating on thin ice over here so you haven't quite gotten over the situation there's still some pitfalls over there and you're trying to come out of it you have been focused a lot on the work you've got that three of coins over there so you are um, it seems like you are at present in a job but you might need to do something further as far as education goes in order for you to get a promotion or uh, you know get a better job maybe uh, but you have been working with a group of people and you've been working pretty well um, you know with each other recently uh, it looks like uh, you know money has been coming in you might be even heading a team here with that three of coins the world card shows that maybe you want to leave the situation behind and move on maybe you're thinking about doing some further travel going and seeing the world or even doing a job on the international front um, international basis it seems like you want to end the situation and move on to something better uh, and it might be ending this job situation move on and moving on to something better 
whatever it is you're working towards, there is going to be some satisfaction. There is going to be some uh, celebration coming in. You've got the nine of coin, uh, cups over here. So there's good news coming in for you. You can see this albatross bringing in some good news. And there might be some overseas travel coming in as well for you. So you might actually be able to get a job on the international front that's going to mean that you meet a lot of people but it's also where you celebrate a lot more money coming in and maybe you have you're having to do a lot more travel so there might uh, be some news coming in for you there you got the seven of wands over here you do need to stand up for yourself you do need to defend yourself and you do need to make sure you pick your battles wisely as well with the seven of wands uh, maybe things didn't go quite how you wanted maybe people are standing up um, you know uh, presenting obstacles to you but you're gonna have to you know shout very loud and make sure that you are heard your voice is heard You've got the temperance card over here. So this is about choosing your, uh, something new, um, you know, deciding. You, you can see there's a choice over there. There's the red and the green cup over there. And deciding what you want. You might be There might be somebody that uh, is opposing your points of view as well. Uh, the temperance card is usually about um, you know, taking a step back and deciding, uh, remembering what your original goal was, what you really wanted to do, and then going for it. Um, and this is about uh, using all your skills, using all your know-how, uh, all your experience, demonstrating it. So if you're making any applications or you're putting out, um, you, know, you want a, a new job, you need to show people that you have a lot of skills. You've got a great skill set than you thought you did have um, and you need to stand up for yourself. Uh, maybe somebody that you, were, you are up against is being very stubborn. You can see these people have got both their hands crossed across you know, their chest. Nobody's budging. So there's a choice that is there. Uh, and maybe the people that you're dealing with are being very, very stubborn. So you do need to stand up for yourself. Like I said, you need to really shout really loudly in order for your uh, voice to be heard. You can see there's a lot of opposition over here. You could even be facing some legal issues over here. There's a lot of policemen here. But you do need to make yourself heard and stand up for yourself. Now, in your hopes and fears, you've got the Ten of Coins. So you do, uh, you are looking for some kind of payout to come in. Uh, and you want uh, to build a more um, solid future, solid foundation over there with that Ten of Coins. So you are hoping for money to come in there. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Ten of Wands. Uh, the Four of Wands and the King of Coins. The Ten of Wands is showing, you can see this woman's very, very stressed out. She's been working to deadlines uh, and working late hours as well. You can see it's nighttime there. So you have been making a lot of communications, maybe even in writing, uh, being on the internet, um, and you are working towards deadlines, and you've been carrying a lot of responsibilities and burdens, and you're very stressed out. Um, you know, And it's about time that you start delegating or uh, getting... Um, rid of these burdens that are stressing you out so much. It might be also that you're coming to an end of this phase or this cycle. So things are about to end with that Ten of Wands. You've got the Four of Wands, so there is some kind of celebration. And this Four of Wands is about maybe working overseas. So maybe you're going to be getting a job away from your home and starting off afresh somewhere else. So uh, this might be that you are going to be travel, traveling and getting a job somewhere else and um, you know moving on to the international front. And it looks like there might be money coming in with that new job. So whatever this new thing is uh, with that four of coin, uh, wands, uh, it looks like there's a motion maybe coming in, but definitely some money and you might end up being in charge um, over here with that ten of coin, king of coins. So there's some kind of uh, financial payoff coming in. You're going to get messages about it and it's going to make you pretty happy. It's going to bring in the abundance and it might be a job overseas coming in for you over there. So it looks like all that stress is about to end for you and things are going to improve. Um, whatever it is you're going through, um, you know, it looks like you're going to be moving on to something much better. Go, Baba. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the... Um, Archangel Power Tarot, and the first card is the Eight of Raphael. There's something better waiting for you. Uh, do what you know is right for you. So you can see leaving things behind and moving on. So you are uh, ending this job, and it seems like you do want to end this job and move on, and it seems like you might end up doing that as well. And you've got the Ace of Aries, so there's a new job offer coming in, new money coming in. It's your lucky day, new resources of money, time of support, a change in job or promotion. So you've got that King of Coins over there talking about some kind of promotion coming in over there, uh, doing something where you're in charge. And with that four of wands, it's almost like you're moving overseas to go and work. And it's going to be quite successful at what you're doing. You're going to be working with a big group of people as well with that four of wands. So you're leaving the stress behind 
and you're going to be moving on. And you've got the five of Gabriel, a challenge you can re um, resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. So with that five of Gabriel, just pick your battles wisely. You know, even with this um, seven of wands, pick your battles wisely. Uh, you know, don't be drawn into other people's drama um, and just go about doing things for yourself. Think about yourself first. Uh, you know, there, whatever it is you're doing, there might be a lot of competition as well uh, for you to get um, to get this particular job. But it looks like you're going to be getting it because there's that Ace of Ariel next to it. So whatever it is you're facing as far as the work front goes, although there is a lot of competition, you do need to strategize. Uh, that is important uh, in order for you to get this new job and for you to move on. Come up with a new plan, a new strategy. And like I said, um, you know, you've had... Um, you ha you're going to be learning quite a bit as well on this new job. You might need, even need to do a, a further course or some kind of further study in order for you to get the edge over everybody else. But you've got that Nine of Cups over there, so it looks like there's going to be um, maybe international travel, but also a celebration. So it seems like something is coming to you. And like I said, you just need to take a little bit of a step back and strategize with that Four of Blades over there. So sit back, think about a new strategy, and put that into place. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.